it's Billy and today I want to talk about this little mysterious thing in my hand. It has to do with kimono. I think you have the same problem, you get a lot of those little bags and you don't really know how to use it. My recommendation is using one and make your own kimono SOS package. So this is my kimono SOS package. <laughs> and that's what I call it because when there is an emergency with my kimono and I'm outside and can't fix it. So this is a bunch of things that I can use to fix anything that could ever happen. So I'm just hoping that actually. Yeah. So when we open it up, I will show you what is inside. Let's start with the easiest one. So, you have seen this before in my video how to ride a bike. This is a waist belt, also called Korin Belto. It has like thousand names in Japanese. They have thousand names for everything in Japanese, for everything for kimono because there are thousands of schools for it. So, just call it the way you like it. So, this is a waist belt and you use this for riding your bike. If you haven't seen my video how to ride a bike in your kimono, check it out. I'll set your card. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, so this is the first thing. The next is a kimono clip. So if you're sitting for a long while somewhere like you're going drinking or something and you're sitting in a bar and you're sitting for a very long time, your kimono starts to open up, especially when it's a silk kimono because it's very slippy, which is actually nice, but um, it's so easy when you just clip it and nothing will come apart and you just can sit there for the whole night and nothing will happen so this is maybe just one of the most um, convenient things you could have and if you have also a normal tie with it and you have uh, otaiko emergency like your otaiko is just whatever it's falling down it doesn't look good you found out that it looks bad and you thought it looks good in the morning or you were driving for a long time and then your obi just is a mess a whole mess you can just retie it with these two and with the stuff you're wearing right now so um, I really recommend always have a clip and a normal tie let's talk a bit more about this tie it's a normal kimono tie and you actually use this for wearing your kimono i wear my kimono with elastics like this one and that's why i actually don't use ties i just use them when i wanna um, tie my obi so why do i have this with me it's super easy like for example you're somewhere and there's a buffet <laughs> Or you're at your friend's house and you want to help with the dishes. Or it's raining outside like crazy and you just don't want to have your slaves to be dirty. My recommendation is you can make an easy tusky with this. And then your slaves are just safe and they won't end in a ramen soup if you want to go eat ramen or something else. So this is very very convenient. Last thing here in my nice bag is a handkerchief. I, by the way, dyed this myself. So cute, isn't it? I love it. Whatever you're eating somewhere, whatever at home, in a restaurant, at McDonald's, <laughs> or when you're just going to a simple ramen store, which is the McDonald's in Japan, you just put a handkerchief between your obi and your kimono so just tug it in your obi like this whatever comes drops on here your kimono won't be dirty and you're actually allowed to do this this is kimono manner so this is good behavior it's good behavior <laughs> to save your kimono from stains yay I actually have a lot of handkerchiefs and when I'm fed up with one, I just go to another. So I have a nice sakura handkerchief. Just on sakura. I got this from a friend. You get a lot of handkerchiefs from people and no one knows how to use them. And this is what I got from my sister-in-law. This was a souvenir from Okinawa. 
I like the color and the pattern. This is a souvenir I got by myself at Arita Ceramics Fair. Um, yeah, just a little handkerchief with a strawberry on it. Yeah. So when you don't know how to use all your handkerchiefs, this is a nice way how you can use your handkerchiefs and you can just change every day and use one you like. If you like this video, leave a thumb up or a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!